Okay, so in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a table in WordPress without using a plugin. So, uh, in the past, uh, WordPress, it was not very easy to create a table within uh, your WordPress dashboard. So there's a really popular plugin that's been out for a few years. It's called TablePress. It's a really awesome plugin. I recommend it highly. But with the recent uh, upgrade of the blocks on WordPress and Gutenberg and things like that, you really don't need to use an external plugin to add tables to your content. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do this. But first, I want to give you an example of why you can use tables. So just taking a look at my financial blog here, where I post my monthly dividend income I receive from stocks. I use the built-in WordPress Gutenberg table block as a way to display data. So tables are just really good for displaying data in an organized format. As you can see, I've organized the data from company, ticker symbol, and dividends received. And finally, at the end, I have a sum total. So it's just a really cool way to show data. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do this. So this doesn't matter whether you're using a WordPress post or a page. It's the exact same procedure. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you're upgraded to the latest uh, WordPress version and you want to make sure that you're using the block editor. This will not work on the classic editor. So I know a lot of people are using the classic editor, but I think if you want more functional functionality, it's uh, time to kind of move away from the classic editor. I know it's much easier to use, but there's so many nice things about the block editor, like adding YouTube videos, tables, things like that. So what you want to do is you want to go to the block editor, and you want to open up, and you hit Add New under Posts. And if you're going to do a page, you go to Pages, Add New. And what you simply want to do is you want to click here and click Add Block. And then what you want to do is you want to come down here, and it, uh, for me, it's under most used because I use tables a lot, but you can also just type in table here and it will come up. It's under formatting, right? So you click this. Okay, here. So it asks you for your column count and row count. So basic, basically, the columns is how many different columns you want to have. So for instance, for me, I was using company, ticker symbol, and uh, dividends received. So that's three columns. Uh, you can have no matter how you can have as many columns as you want and when you use this table it's going to look great on mobile because it scrolls horizontally so it's also responsive so let's just for uh you know example let's just do two two and two okay so this would be my top setting so let's say i can do first name if i was just making a table of contacts so i would put in first name there and then here, maybe I wanted to, let's say I was adding data, for instance, let's say I was adding email address or something like that. Again, this is just for, uh, you know, demonstration. So let's say first name, I put Steve, and then email address Steve uh, Johnson at gmail.com. So as you can see, guys, pretty easy to set up. And then what you can do is if you want to for this to stand out you just highlight this and hit the b that will bold it okay so that's kind of how you do the general things i'm going to show you guys some extra things that you can do so if you want to actually add a header section you could just click this right here and this will uh, actually allow you to uh write something uh, in the header or something like that So actually, that's what I should have done. I should actually have moved this to the top. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to actually put that there. In the header section. First name. And then I'm going to add another name. Uh, for example, Taylor. Taylor. Uh, Taylor. Madison at gmail.com okay so that's how you think you can do you can also style the table uh, there's a default you can add a different style will just show up called stripes kind of just changes the formatting of the table pretty cool so now there's some other things that you can do as well you can also change the background color of your table if you want it to be like a different color or something like that you can change it to green 
this background is blue, something like that. Kind of lets the data stand out a little bit better while it's uh, on the page. So that's just a simple feature is there. So now I'm going to show you guys some other things you can do with your table, right? So now let's say you wanted to add more information to your table. You just hit this button right here and you can add row after to add another name. Or if you need another column, you just hit this same button and you had I have add column after and then you can add a column here write some different things so I can do last name okay pretty straightforward guys really nice to do and one of the reasons I like using this new feature of the block editor is simply because I don't have to use the the table press plugin which I love the table press plugin but it's just so much easier to add tables right within your WordPress dashboard so uh, that's it guys for the tutorial. I hope this helps you guys add tables to WordPress pretty easily. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments about the video. And until next time, take care.